Hello guys, this is Dapsun Ishmael. In this tutorial, we will take a look at how to preview our published project from WYSIWYG Web Builder on our mobile devices. So to get started, there are a couple of things that you need. You first of all need to be connected on the same network with your app system. So your system and your mobile device is supposed to be connected to the same network. You also need a web server that is a local host web server. So in this video tutorial, I'll be using XAMPL. I've already downloaded and installed XAMPL on my system. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start my exam. So I'm going to go to start and then start my exam control panel. So this is going to be running on the um, system tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up here by opening it. So I have configured my in such a way that when I start XAMPL, automatically Apache and MySQL should be running. So if you also want to be able to do that, simply come to config and then when you come to config, you make sure you check Apache and MySQL. So this is auto start of models. So I have that checked. And then one other option is start control panel minimize. So anytime I start my control panel, automatically Apache and MySQL is going to start and then it is going to be minimized. So when you're done with that configuration, just go ahead and then hit on save and then that should be it for now. So let me let's continue with the tutorial so now i have my exam started what i have to do next is to get an ip address of my system so on a windows system i'll right click on my network icon and then i'll go to open network and sharing center so that is going to give me this particular um, window what i'm going to do next is supposed to go to um, the network i'm connected to so i'm going to click on the network name and then i'll come to details when I come to details, I see the IP address of my system, which is 192.168.1.101. So that is the IP address I'll be keeping in mind and I'll be using. So let me just close this. And then next, I'm going to publish my project. So I'm going to open my Wizard Web Builder and then I'm going to go to publish. Now, when you are using XAMPP, there is a directory where your project files are published to. So let me just show you that real quick. When I open my Windows Explorer, I'll come to local drive C and then I'll come to XAMPP. Now in your XAMPP folder, there is a folder called htdocs. This is where your published folders or published files are supposed to be. So this is where I'm going to publish my project to. So let me just minimize this and then I'm going to go ahead and publish my project. So I'm going to hit on new and then I'll browse the location where I'm supposed to publish this. So I'll expand this PC and then expand local drive C. I'll expand XAMPP and then I'll click on htdocs and then I'll go ahead and create a new folder. So I'm going to call this new folder publish. And then I'll go ahead and make sure I have that selected and then I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me go ahead and click on OK to publish everything. So I'm publishing all the files. So I have my project published and then let me just verify that by opening my browser to confirm that it is truly published to the right location. So I'm going to go to localhost forward slash published. So as you can see, I have my project published. Now on a mobile device connected to the same network as the system I have here, what I'm supposed to do is to open the browser on my mobile device. I'm going to demonstrate this on my system because I have not using any mobile device. And then all you have to do is to simply type the IP address of your system, which is 192.168.0.101 and then forward slash the name of the project folder that you published to your htdocs folder. So that in my case, this is going to be published. And then you hit on enter. So they should open up my project. If I got the spell is right, let me just check this. Let me just make sure my IP address is right. So one I two once you say it's one instead of um, one I've missed out and just make this one. So I have this to be one. I'll go ahead and hit on enter and this should open up my project. So you shouldn't encounter or experience any problem trying to preview this on your mobile device. So far as you have your system connected or your mobile device connected, you can preview this on your mobile device without any challenges. Now this is very important or best for testing your website before you finally publish it to the internet or your domain. So that is it for this tutorial. 
Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.